we're prepared to address our second question, how is the tax burden in Texas distributed? Most analyses of the distribution of the economic burden of any tax make a distinction between a progressive tax and a regressive tax. This distinction is based on the relationship between an individual's or an household's income and the effective tax rate. The effective tax rate is the percentage of income that a person or household pays in taxes and is distinguished from the nominal tax rate, which is the rate that is imposed by law. For example, in Texas, the nominal state sales tax rate is six and a quarter percent. The nominal sales tax rate is applied to all retail sales of items which are subject to the tax, irrespective of the relative wealth or income of the individual making the purchase. In a progressive tax, income and the effective tax rate are directly related. In other words, people with relatively high incomes pay a larger percentage of their incomes in taxes than people with relatively low incomes. As income increases, the effective tax rate increases. By the same token, as household income decreases, the effective tax rate decreases. The federal income tax is frequently given as an example of a progressive tax, although I will qualify that by adding that the federal income tax is only marginally progressive. What do I mean when I say that the federal income tax is marginally progressive? Does the effective tax rate increase at a constant rate as income increases? Or does the effective income tax rate increase at a slow rate over low income ranges, but at a rapid rate over higher levels of income? Alternatively, does the effective tax rate increase at a rapid rate over low income ranges, but at a slower rate over higher levels of income. When we say that the federal income tax increases its progressive at the margins or it's marginally progressive, what we mean is that the effective income tax rate increases at the margins such that the taxpayer only pays the next highest rate over a specific range of income. Here are the tax brackets for the 2014 tax year for single taxpayers. Notice the marginal increases with each tax bracket such that over the first 10, 000, over the first roughly $9,000 of income the effective rate is 10% and then from $9,075 to $36,900, the marginal tax rate is 15%. So a taxpayer who makes, hypothetically, makes $36,900 would, would pay 10% rate over the first $9,000 and then 15% over the range of income from $9,075 to $36,900. The next tax bracket uh, a marginal tax rate of 25% is applied so that the income over $36,900 uh, to $89,350 is taxed at a rate of 25%. The income for a person making over $89,000 from $89,350 to $186,000 thousand three hundred fifty dollars is taxed at a rate of 28 percent. For income over one hundred and eighty six thousand dollars one hundred eighty six three hundred fifty dollars to four hundred and five thousand dollars is taxed at a marginal rate of thirty three percent. 
from $405,100 to $406,750, the marginal tax rate is 35%. And the final range of income over $406,000 is taxed at a rate of just under 40%. So again, a, a person whose income is over $406,750 would only pay the marginal tax rate of 39.6% on income over $406,750. In a regressive tax, income and the effective tax rate are inversely related. In other words, people with relatively low incomes pay a higher percentage of their incomes in taxes than people with relatively high incomes. Sales taxes and property taxes are widely regarded as examples of regressive taxes.